Chad Arms, a.k.a. WrestleManiac. We're here with another early morning randomness. It is March 12th. I'm sitting in the drive through line at Hardee's, fixing to just violate some steak biscuits. Um, Kevin Dates in the trunk, in the deck, still in there. Sorry. If you don't like it, shoo shoo. Um, I've been waiting for about 10 minutes, and I've been trying to do an early morning randomness video, and my phone wanted to do a complete restart. Then it was just upload. It was just updating all these apps that I don't fucking freaking use. Sorry for the language. But uh, yeah, it's just a lot going on already this morning. I'm off today. I'm fixing to go see my nephew play baseball here later. He's amazing. He's an amazing baseball player. And uh, I know everybody says that about their family, but mine is. I'm serious. He's he's good. He's really good. Shout out to Maddox. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to just hang out. And watch some baseball, and um, you know, sweat profusely. Probably, it's like in the set. It's in the 60s already at 9:50 in the morning. So that's good. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't moved in at least seven minutes and 38 seconds. So there's so somebody's probably either ordering the entire menu, or they've just got a staff full of shoe shoes working today. It's probably a mixture of both. If I was a betting man. If I was in the casino and I was betting, that's what I'd bet on. I'd bet I'd split it down the middle. Shoe shoe employees and idiotic customers. We ain't got no time for that. No time. We ain't got no time for that. No time. Kevin Gates, hey, woo, love this album. Anyways, yeah, we we've been doing all kinds of shit. The person behind me is staring at me, so confused. It's 2016, ma'am. She's 136 years old, so she probably is confused, wondering, who is he talking to? There's nobody in the seat. Who's he saying anything to? Does he have a cellular phone, something? Ma'am, you stay out of my fucking business, okay? That's what we That's what we need to worry about. Is anybody going to let me go? I mean, is, is, is anything popping right now? I may just pull off and go to Burger King and get some sandwiches, you know? At this point, uh... I don't think it's worth it, guys. I really don't. You know what? You know what? Chad says YOLO, and it's not worth it. Fuck you, uh, Hardys. And as soon as I pull off, guess what? The line moves. But you know what? When you when you yeah, it doesn't matter. No time. My watch is away. Ain't got no time for that. No time. You know what I mean? So, uh, shoo shoo on you and your grandpappy. That's all I'm going to say, say baby, baby. Going to Burger King, never a line, ever in life, there's never a line at Burger King. So, that's that's legit, okay? So, I'll be right back. We're going to we're gonna order, and then I'll be back. Woo! We just got done ordering. It took literally two minutes. There was nobody in line. I ordered. It was done. What is this jacked up truck doing? Just jacked up trucks. I, I need to do a complete rant on jacked up truck entitlement. You know, it just, 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 yeah, I don't understand you. Anyways, we're going to sit here and eat, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys and gals for a little bit more. Uh, first of all, the whole deal now, every time you go into a restaurant, 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 hashtag that somehow. There's always somebody that's wanting you to donate some. Donate to this, donate to that. Well, it was donate, it was some kind of here, it was donating to, um, I don't even know what it was. You want to donate $2 to such and such? It's got $20 worth of coupons in it. Um, well, and then I just sat there for a minute and she was trying to guilt me into doing it. I said, well, can I donate a dollar? She was like, well, I guess. You know, I said, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to donate anymore. I'm out of the mood. You just you just you just ruined my mood. It's just people just with the with the begging in life now. Especially on, on social media. Just just the overabundance of GoFundMe's. For no I can understand if you're if you're trying to do a GoFundMe for like an independent project that you're doing or you're an artist or entertainer and you're doing GoFundMe for certain projects. I get that. 
But I saw somebody that did a GoFundMe because her and her baby's daddy broke up and he left her and stole her stuff. And there was a GoFundMe for that. I'm a single mom and I just need GoFundMe. I was just going to raise some money for, for my kids. I don't have a job right now. Get a job! Oh, God. Stop it. Stop begging. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Get a job. Work for your money. You shoe shoes. Uh, see, Kevin Gates has got ten jobs. Did you hear? He don't get that. You can't get one. Just one. Get a half a job. Get a part-timer. Something. Stop thinking everybody owes you stuff. Why did I just start ranting? I, I, that lady in there made me rant. So, I love everybody with all of my heart. But I also hate I hate with all of my heart people that are worthless. And worthless in the sense that they don't they don't have to be. They choose to be worthless. I choose to hate you. I love everybody else though. Love peace and hair grease. Early morning rant. Early morning randomness. Um March 12th, 2016. Kill yourself if you're worthless. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just stop being worthless. Hashtag.